Mr. President, though, given, given how country, given how divided it feels this country is, I, I, I want to play you uh, just a, a piece of tape uh, from Ken Langone, who I believe supported you in, in the last election, who was on Squawk Box earlier, uh, about a month, a month and a half ago now. And I want to show you what he had to say, because I think it represents a lot of voters out there. And I'm, I'm just curious if you would react to it uh, and uh, explain sort of how you feel about it to the voters. Look at this, if you could, for a second. I worry if Trump wins that it's going to be four years of getting even. And that's scary, because we've got serious issues coming up that need to be addressed. What, what do you think of that, Mr. President? Because I think that there is a, there is a feeling that, that there is still a, a, an anger and a frustration that you have about certain issues. Well, look, I've never been a fan of Ken. Uh, I, I've never, I don't know if he supported me. Maybe he supported me because I was the only one that he could support, because that's the reason. But I've never been a fan. I've been a fan of Bernie Marcus, a big fan. And Bernie Marcus is a big fan of mine. And uh, that was the side I chose. And frankly, um, you know, he's right in one sense. People think that there's going to be revenge. And I say, no, the revenge is going to be success. There's not going to be revenge in a revenge stance. It's really going to be success. We're going to turn our country around. We're going to bring sense and, and common sense. You know, people say you're conservative. I'm not conservative. You know what I am? I'm a man of common sense. And a lot of conservative policies are common sense. We're not going to have open borders. You're going to have to come in legally. We're going to close up the borders. I had the best border. I had the safest border in the history of our country. And it was all he had to do is he could have gone to the beach like he likes doing. He thinks he looks good in a bathing suit. If he would have left everything in place, including the people that were doing it, mm. I had the best border in history. We built 571 miles of wall. I got Mexico to give us massive numbers of free soldiers. Now, there's a case of tariffs. I said, if you don't give us the soldiers, we're going to put a 25 percent tariff on your cars. They laughed at me when I said I want 28,000 soldiers. And I like, you know, the president of Mexico. I think mm -hmm. he's a very good guy. He happens to be a socialist, but you can't have everything. But they laughed at me. I said, I want you to give us 25, 28,000 soldiers on our border to stop the people that are coming in with the caravans. And they laughed at me. I said, that's OK. You don't want to do it, right? Yeah. I, I'm going to put a 25 percent tariff on all of your products, including all of the cars that you're selling. You know, they stole. They, stole, they took like we were babies. 32 percent of our car manufacturing business over the last 30 years, 32 percent is now being made in Mexico and getting bigger all the time. And now, as I told you before, with China going in, building plants there to sell into the United States, I would say to China, if you're building a plant on our border to build cars in Mexico and to sell them into the United States, I'm mm -hmm. putting a 50 percent tariff on all those cars. And you know what? They would stop building their plant in about two. But we oh. don't do that. We have we have stupid people running our government, to be honest.